Oh, where, oh, where can my Lucy be? The kitchen took her away from me. Now I'm sitting here, drinking my beer. I'm all alone. Where's my dear? <laughs> you can meh me anytime you want. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling a little frothy. You Holy, you scary. Yeast infection. Oh, you should do your cousin it. Let's do it. Cousin it? Yeah, go get your glasses. Oh, good. Let's do it now. Oh. Yes. Cousin it is coming to do a reaction with me. <laughs> Lucy, now we'll get rid of Lucy. We're going to do cousin it. <sighs> well, she's getting ready. How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. There she is! <laughs> it's Cousin It! <laughs> Cousin It? It's an emergency! <laughs> so, how was your day, Cousin It? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I, I must be Uncle Fester, then. Now, open your mouth and say, ah. 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 This is most unusual. Your tongue is bright blue. Blue? It's supposed to be green. <laughs> I should get oh. the... Get the with the robe that he wears on. There, we could do that for Halloween. Look it. It would be a very easy Uncle Fester and Cousin It Halloween. Wouldn't have to do much. Except I can't see. <laughs> i have to just shave the rest of the goat off. You can't see it all, eh? No. Now I can see. Now you look like an old washed up rock and roller. Somebody from the Voyager. <laughs> Chewbacca's wife. Oh, there you go. Good job. You look like an old Scotsman after a battle against England. In the... Oh. <laughs> you have hair in your mouth. That's what you're worried about? Yeah, I know how to fucking lick that. <laughs> Maybe. I've already got orange around my beard. Well, that's from something else. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh my god. That was wonderful. Now you everybody... made me do that. Oh yeah. I twisted her arm, didn't I? Yeah, did. did I ever twist her arm? Did she ever just like, no, I'm never doing that. No, <laughs> she was just like, oh, I guess I'll do what you say, honey. Oh, it's <laughs> funny. Okay. Kids call him Uncle. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no, they, they don't. <laughs> they call me Red Foreman from the 70s show. That's what they call. No, the kids call him that. <laughs> yeah. Like our kids. Hey, Red. <laughs> You know, it seems like bad things are always happening to me. Like I have bad luck or something. Son, you don't have bad luck. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. Because I'm like... An asshole. You're bringing... <laughs> nice! What? Because I'm... Me? He used to be. I'm yeah. mean to a few boys. What? It's getting better. Invite somebody over. It's like, you're only getting one pork chop or you're splitting it. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> no. You're in my house, goddammit. You're going to fucking eat. <laughs> That's right. That's She's like an Italian <laughs> Scotsman. <laughs> I am. It's like, she, no, you fucking eat, man. <laughs> she makes people eat until they can't eat no more. Because the fucking kitchen's closed later. Fill your belly now. This is why I'm this. This is <laughs> why. It's her fault. She's goddamn greatest cook in the world, I tell you. That's right, Gordon Ramsay. She's a very good cook. Suck my dick. That's right, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Suck her dick, and I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, so we're going to do some Stuart Lee. Okay. Um, some very rude people have been bugging us for this for a long time. In fact, uh, rude yeah, I mean, like, not everybody, but there's like a bunch nice. of like, 
oh, you're doing this and you're not doing Stuart Lee? You must be the worst, like, comedy channel ever because he's I'm the not best. A comedy channel. Or whatever, reaction channel. No, seriously, there have been comments like that where it's like, I almost felt like not doing Stuart Lee. He's so sensitive. But it's like, so I just went, fuck you for a while, I'm not doing it, but now I'm going to do it. So, there you go. I win. It's, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some Stuart Lee. Um, I asked for suggestions, nobody suggested anything, so I'm doing this one, satire. Because a lot of the other stuff, I'm not sure if we get, because he's he gets into political stuff, and I'm not sure of all the politics in the UK, so. Right. Yeah, I don't want to sit there and go, oh, I wonder what he's talking about. All right, so let's do this one. Okay. Stuart Lee. And it's called Satire. Our very first introduction to Stuart. Okay. In the 1980s, the Labour Party believed that the poor, who did not deserve to be poor, should be helped by the rich, who did not deserve to be rich. Meanwhile, the Conservatives thought that the poor, who deserve to be poor, should not be helped by the rich, who deserve to be rich. And that is the 1980s explained. <laughs> it's very different today, isn't it? Today, both the main parties believe that the poor should be tied up in a bin bag and thrown into a canal. <laughs> The Conservatives, to be fair to them, at least had the guts to look as if they mean that. <laughs> Whereas the Labour Party, when they announced their support for welfare cuts, they did so with all the confidence of a dog running away from the smell of his own farts. <laughs> the leaders are no different, are they? David Cameron and Ed Miliband. They're about as different as two rats fighting over a courgette that has fallen into a urinal. <laughs> The main difference being that the David Cameron rat is wearing chinos. What's a chino? I don't know. In an attempt to win over the youth voter. I do think we should vote, though. I know that's unfashionable in stand-up comedy now, but I do think we should vote. Fair play, though. Congratulations to Russell Brand for bringing global capitalism to the attention of CBeebies viewers. Russell Brand and Jeremy Paxman. It was hardly Frost Nixon, was it? More like watching a monkey throw his own excrement at a foghorn. You know, you know yeah. Brand. Hear that applause? That's what I like. I'm not interested in laughs. I prefer applause. Is it supposed to be funny? That's what the critics say. No, it isn't. I'm not interested in laughs. I'm interested in... People say, did you see Stuart Lee? Yeah. Was it funny? No, but I agreed the fuck out of it. <laughs> I'm not interested in laughs. What I'm aiming for is a temporary mass liberal consensus <laughs> that dissolves on contact with air. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but he's a I remember when I, when I first voted in the 80s, I. I voted Labour. Now, I don't think I understood the issues, but I did love the guitar sound on Billy Bragg's first album. Um, if I, I'd like to vote Conservative now, though, and I'll tell you why. Because um, when I met my wife ten years ago, I wasn't really earning enough to pay tax, but I am now, and so I'd like to vote Conservative so I can pay less uh, or no tax, I do. I don't know, I'd have to pay any tax at all. I think the money that I've got, that's mine. And I, I want to keep all of that. And I, I don't want any of that to go to schools or hospitals or to help uh, people less fortunate than me, uh, either here or in Bongo Bongo Land. The money, <laughs> that money's mine. And... That was it? I guess so. That was just a short little clip, eh? Well, shit. I feel like I missed, like, part of the joke or something. Oh, okay. Anyways. Well, we'll wow. have to do another one then. Okay. Actually, I, I thought it was creative and intelligent, like intellectual, in, intellectual, in, intellectual funny. I'll wait till you get it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would you do if I had done that? You'd be like, I would have laughed. Intellectual. <laughs> Yeah, you can do that too if you want to. Okay. That's fine. All right. No, <clears throat> anyway. actually, he looks like a smart comedian. So most comedians aren't. No, I know, but you know how some are just kind of like they're funny, but they do maybe one-liners or or they just do dick jokes kind of thing, right? Like my brother. Yeah. Joseph. 
Joseph. Yeah. I'm kidding. You're, you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> and funny. And he watches these. Way to go. Joe, Love you. there you go. I know how your sister feels. You're I'm, just a I'm compilation kidding. of dick jokes. I'm fucking kidding. He does like his peepee cat jokes. But, yeah. True. Okay. But he's funny. So anyhow, what's one less subscriber there? <laughs> Actually, Joe's going to go help us. Uh, he's going to do a video with us. When yes. he gets over here, he's going to do a video with us. Yes. Yes. Over here, like he's overseas or something. He lives like, I don't know, like 40 minutes away. Yeah. Well, in yeah. in the UK, that's like a lifetime driving event. <laughs> I thought that was like a short time. That's no, no. That's the country. No, yeah. because like the last time we said Shania T Twain. Shania Twain. <laughs> Shania Twain. Last time we said she was three and a half hours away from us, which we think is close. The it people in, in UK is like, that's a huge trip for them because oh, they're, I see. Okay, yeah. you can drive across half the island and that's Right, so. right. Well... That's why they have small cars in the UK. His parents live three hours away, which is really close. Yeah, they're three and a half hours away, our parents. My brother's 40 minutes away. Yeah. And that's a... My little sister's what in Barry. It takes us three, three, and, three and a half, four three hours and to and get half there. Hours, yeah. So that's just a morning trip for us, whereas in the UK, it's it's a big deal. So Try driving across Canada. I've done that once. Oh, it could get weak or something. Yeah, it takes... A, if you don't sleep. To go <laughs> coast to coast... It's 72 hours if you don't stop. You need a couple of people driving. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can't night drive, but I can day drive pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, because Canada, we're like as big as Russia, but better. <laughs> because Canada. Canada, eh? <laughs> it was a frozen, hostile wasteland, and there was much work to be done if we were to survive the elements. <laughs> My good friend Nantuck and I <laughs> bore a hole in the ice for food. And then we built an igloo to protect ourselves from polar bears and flying hockey pucks. And the elements. <laughs> <laughs> I already said that. I always got to interrupt. It's like whenever I start a joke, it's like I get like 10 seconds into it and either Lucy or Jenny finish it. And I'm like, was I even here? That was a joke. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> okay, so we promised okay. to do more Stuart Lee. Yes. I'm sorry if that wasn't the right video, but it was a good video. It was funny. That was a good introduction. It gives, it gives us an idea. Yeah, yeah. Give us your ideas. We'll go do them. It's okay. And um, we'll see. Just remember, we're Canadian, and we have to un understand sort of what he's talking about. And sometimes I find that... Uh, when you get into UK politics and that, it's a little difficult, that's all. Oh, it is. You know, yeah. like, you got to be careful what you say, right? But, you know, we have our own But we do. I do read and about we don't, the UK. we don't totally agree on politics, but... Yeah. All I know is the media, the media is very dishonest. It is. So it's hard to know what to believe. We can agree on that. Because they always seem to misinform the people. Yes. And I'm tired of that on both sides. So. And everybody thinks they're right. Shouldn't you know what? <laughs> everybody's right and everybody's wrong. You heard it here on the Brad oh, and Lucy show. How about everybody just has their own opinions? How about Take we go research, get your own opinion by what Socrates said? I'm going to quote Socrates. Oh, because he had all the answers. <laughs> no, he said the beginning of wisdom is when you admit you know nothing. I can agree with that. I agree with that because I know nothing. <laughs> I can agree with that too. <laughs> I must be very wise then. <laughs> Evil wise. <laughs> Evil wise. <laughs> Evil wise. Time to take over the world. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Okay. We're going to find a rubber hose and a duck at this time of night. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Pinky? It's definitely blooper shit. <laughs> okay, so, on the Brad and Lucy show, we don't steer away from controversy. We sniff it in the butt.
Is this because I love it. Is this because we have eight dogs? Is this what it's turned into? All right. Thanks for that. I'm ashamed. <laughs> All right. Talk to you next time.